A chocolate shop and one of my favorite destinations, Kego Harbor, might tempt your sweet tooth with its decadent handmade chocolate creations. Dwar chocolate transforms cocoa beans into chocolate bars and other treats. And this morning we have Rajani Kankipudi. Rajani Kankipudi. She's coming at you right now from Live in the D. She's the owner and chocolate maker at the shop. So. First of all, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I created a jingle for you. Oh, absolutely. Right. It's fun. Let's start at the beginning with the chocolate making process. How do you transform cocoa beans into cho chocolate bars? So bean to bar process is basically a small batch chocolate making process. Uh, we take raw cocoa beans, which we are, you know, getting all sourced all over the world. Mm -hmm. And we take them, they come in dry, fermented, and then we roast them. Fermented, explain that. I yes. was not expecting so that word. The beans are actually put in a bar, uh, wooden box and mm -hmm. fermented over time for about six to eight days, depending on the humidity, the temperature, and then the beans actually develop the flavor. And once it's done... Is it, that true of all chocolate making? Yes, all beans are. I did not know that. Yes. Okay, and so and you have three jars And then they dry them out, yes. And, so, so. and then you dry, they dry them out and send them in a dry form. Okay. So this is done at the point of origin that is at the farm level. And then once we get them, we actually take them and roast them in a coffee roaster okay. and develop the flavor at that point. And then what's the, is so, that grinding there? So this one is, when, once we finish the roasting process, we actually remove the shell, mm -hmm. we crack them, and this is what we call a cocoa nib. This is what we grind in a stone grinder to make the chocolate. Okay. And the process goes on between 20, 24 hours till it becomes a nice smooth consistency. So how is this like making wine? Um, wine is also fermented, grapes are fermented and develop flavor. Similar to that, cocoa also develops flavor while fermenting, that's your first step. But as you grind, the volatiles are let out and then the chocolate actually grinds and makes a nice smooth taste. And it ages over time, it develops flavor. This tray that we're looking at almost looks like a flight. Yes. Like a flight of beer or a flight of scotch or a yep. flight of wine. What do we have over here, the finished product, yes? Yes, that is our product. And because we are a small batch chocolate maker, it gives us a lot of freedom to play with uh, chocolate and outside the norm. So we don't generally always have to make a dark white or a milk chocolate. We actually can work around, like this one here is a white chocolate cardamom okay, so with that, that's pistachio. The... Yes, we incorporate our flavor and our culture into it and we call it the pista coffee. And here is a bar which is made with oat milk as opposed to a traditional milk chocolate. And it's got lots of ingredients in it, so. There's sesame in this one over here? Yes, there is. Like sesame seed bun? Like or sesame, sesame seed. Wow. So we make the dark chocolate and then add sesame seed to it. Excellent. And, and then in front we got bags, the little baggies or pouches, yes. what are those? So once we make our chocolate, the highlight is our chocolate. So we add different ingredients and make little confections with it. Okay. So we have a chocolate dipped orange slices, as you can see here too, and then we have almond clusters. It's right there. Yep. Bada boom. Bada bing. Hey, uh, let everybody know where your shop is located. We know, we know Kego Harbor, but where exactly? We are on Cass Lake Road, so it is 2038 Cass Lake Road, right across the street from Roosevelt. Rajani Kankipudi <laughs> and Duar Chocolates, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you.